Hey, what's up? So I want to talk about light switches today. When to use a single pole, a three-way, a four-way, and you know, this is what it is. So a single pole light switch is very simple. You just have one toggle and it's basically on or off. Um, a three-way light switch is a single pole double throw. So basically there's like two points that it can be attached to. And then whatever you turn on at the other end dictates which one is the hot one. So it's like if they're both up or if they're both down, then they'll be on. But if they're in opposite directions, then the lights will stay off. Then you have um, a four-way switch, which is basically uh, the power runs parallel through the switch or they'll they'll cross. So, you know, remember when I said the three-way when they're like in opposite directions? Well, you want to switch in the middle to cross the two and then that'll complete the circuit and turn your light switch on. So I have a floor plan here that looks like somebody just put in all single pole switches and I'm going to go through and kind of say, um, explain to you where and what, what kind of switch to use in what location. All right, so if we just want to look at this, um, this is a, a layout of an electrical room with some industrial pendant fixtures. And simply enough, um, say this life safety room, we have two doors and there's two switches. So uh, if there was only one door, you would just have a single pole switch and that'll be the end of your story. But because there's two, you'll need to have a three-way switch here and a three-way. And you'll also need to have another three-way down here. All right. So that way, uh, it doesn't matter which door you come in through, they'll both uh, have an active switch nearby that you can turn the lights on and off. Then out here becomes a little bit more interesting because you actually have four different doors. And um, ideally, you probably would want to switch by every door, uh, at least two of them, right? So you like this one's the interior access door and this one's the exterior access. So at least these two. But um, I don't really see a reason why these two would need a switch but for the sake of you know showing my purpose let's have a third switch over here so in this case if you have three locations that need a switch two of them need to be three-way switches and one needs to be a four-way uh, let's say i let's say i want to put a, a switch over here too so this would actually also be a four-way so it'd be a four-way here we'll say um, four-way up here and then this will be three-way and this would be three-way down here. Oop, three way. Okay, so that's your four switch arrangement. Um, I don't know, like I said, you, you can't really get into here without having lights on in the first place, but eh, maybe we'll leave it. Because what, what's, let's say like somebody's in here, you go into the life safety room, you're doing something, and then someone out here doesn't realize that they're in here. They shut the lights off out here. So if you come out of here and it's dark, yeah, I guess it would be nice to have a switch here. So you know what? Uh, I'll leave it. So add, well, this is a markup. Add four way switch here. Okay. And there you go. So that's kind of how you would lay out uh, three way and four way switches. Um, if you had just a single, let's say this is one room down here. If this was the only access door to it, then it would just be a regular switch, a single pull switch. So, Okay, well, anyway, that's my rambly bambly for the day. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.